Hi, I'm Dr. Bindu Balani, one of an infectious disease physicians here at Hackensack University Medical Center. The word hepatitis is inflammation of the liver. So anything that affects the liver, be it infectious versus non-infectious, could cause hepatitis or the swelling. Infectious agents could be viruses that could affect the liver. Non-infectious etiologies could be related to drugs or alcohol. Uh, drugs like acetaminophen in big doses or methotrexate can cause this particular inflammation or swelling. NAFLD or non-alcoholic hepatitis can also cause inflammation of the liver. It could be very mild with just a mild fatty changes or it could be more severe with cirrhosis and scarring of the liver. Hepatitis A, B, C, D, and E are the most common types of hepatitis. Um, they all come under the same category of hepatitis because they all affect the liver and cause inflammation but are very different organisms. Hepatitis A and E are both foodborne illnesses. Um, they're usually self-limited and depending upon the severity can be causing mild GI symptoms like nausea, vomiting, yellowness of the eyes and skin which is jaundice or turning the color of the, the urine to dark yellow um, which can be limited over a period of two to three weeks or can be more protracted in case of hepatitis E for lasting for more than six to twelve weeks in all. Hepatitis B and C are both of two viruses that can affect the liver. They're, they could be completely asymptomatic initially on presentation. They can be spontaneously cured by the body also, but if present can go on to lead to chronicity of the disease, leading to liver cirrhosis and cancer. Hepatitis D virus or the Delta virus requires the presence of hepatitis B to replicate and thus is always seen in conjunction with hepatitis B co-infection. It could be acquired at the same time as, as the acquisition of hepatitis B, which is called at that particular time as co-infection, or it could be a super infection, which is a secondary infection on top of chronic hepatitis B disease. It is acquired through infection with infected bodily fluids and is very rarely seen in developed countries.